AITA for telling my best friend I will never be a surrogate for him? I've known my friend, let's call him Jared, 30M, since we were in school. We did everything together and were inseparable. I was the first person he came out to, and we've always supported each other. When we were 15, Jared first told me that he wanted me to carry a child for him and his future husband since, being a man, he couldn't. At the time, I said no because I had just watched a series where a woman gave birth to her brother's triplets and became depressed afterward. I've always been a sensitive person and have struggled with anxiety and depression due to childhood trauma. Even back then, I knew I couldn't handle something like that. Jared got upset and didn't talk to me for two days. After that, we resumed our friendship, but every now and then, he'd bring up the topic again and get angry whenever I said I wouldn't do it, even if he paid me. I explained my reasons over and over, but he didn't seem to understand. Eventually, he stopped bringing it up, and I thought he had matured and moved on. But this year, his boyfriend proposed to him, and during a dinner with friends, Jared asked me again. This time, he and his fiancé said they'd pay me well and cover any therapy expenses if needed. I got frustrated and told him I would never carry his child and couldn't understand why he kept asking. I suggested that if he had money to offer, he could save it and find a surrogate willing to do it. Once again, Jared got mad and left the restaurant, with his fiancé following him. Most of my friends, especially the women, are on my side and agree that it's uncomfortable for him to keep insisting. However, some friends from the LGBTQ community think I'm overreacting and that it would be a nice gesture. While most of my friends think we should meet and discuss this more calmly, I'm really bothered by how long this has been going on. Jared has been pushing this for years, and I'm always the one who has to wait for him to approach me again after we argue. I value our 15-year friendship, but I'm tired of this constant argument and of being made to feel guilty for my personal choice. Jared always says he wants me to be the surrogate because he trusts me more than anyone else, but I just don't want to do it. At the same time, I don't want to lose him.